excited. Look in your eyes, they're just ages. You taking pictures, know your angles. No, it ain't perfect, but we turn close. When it's not just like this, I'm. Oh, yeah. It was like this. Feel right like this. Right like this. I never really spent no time like this. You said what I look like, like this. Yeah. yeah. Looking in your eyes, shit is. And if it's over, once I flip you over. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my high ponytail and baby hairs. I get asked about how I do my bun, not my bun. I get asked about how I do my ponytail a lot and my baby hairs. And I made this video like a few months ago. I made this video a few months ago and somehow I deleted the footage. So I'm just going to go ahead and re-record. So I'm starting off with my natural hair. I washed it like two days ago and I've been wearing it in I've been wearing it in a wig. So I just washed it and braided it. So I'm just gonna take it down. It looks a mess. Usually when I do my ponytail my hair will be straight. Like I'll straighten it first or like I will already be wearing it straight and then I'll just put it in a ponytail after it gets dirty. But I'm just starting out with it, um, I guess from a braid out. So you don't have to straighten your hair to get this look. I'm gonna start off by just detangling my real hair a little bit. You just detangle it and then I just start putting my hair into the ponytail where I want my ponytail. Um, I don't like my ponytail too high up on my head. I like it high, but just like not at the top of my head. So I just brush it up. I like to use, where is it? I like to use this leave-in conditioner for my hair. It's the Hairfinity leave-in conditioner and I like it because it just makes my hair super soft and it smells really good. So I spray it around. One of these boar bristle brushes to really smooth it out. And I take two ponytail holders because I like my ponytails to be really tight. I like to get a facelift with my ponytails. You don't want to have like a headache or anything, but sometimes I'll be having a headache if I'm being honest. Okay. At this point, it's just kind of like a rough draft of what I, what I like my ponytail to be because now I do my baby hair to take my Eco Styler gel and a fine tooth comb and a toothbrush to do my edges. And I've been using this toothbrush for forever to do my edges. But what I usually like to do is I kind of comb my baby hair down. I kind of comb my baby hair down first and then I'll like shape it with my toothbrush. So I comb it down first to make sure I'm getting a good amount of hair out. So yeah. Okay, so either I use my Eco Styler Gel or this Gorilla Snot. This is super good for laying down your edges, but the only thing I don't like about this is it breaks me out. So I don't really use it anymore for that reason, but it lays your edges down really good and it holds it really good. I may use a little bit today just to show y'all. So yeah, I'll take a little bit of the gel and just kind of put it on the toothbrush. <coughs> and I just start kind of Brushing them down a little bit. Yeah. Whatever's on the brush, I kind of like. I push back what I don't want to be out. And then I lay down what I do want to be out. Basically, I just 
take the gel and swirl my baby hair into what I have. I have into my ponytail. And then I brush down my sideburns because I like to have I like the baby hair right here. So I brush it down. And then just kind of scoop it. Just kind of brush back what I don't want to be in my baby hair. I brush back my edges and then I take the leftover just do my baby hair scoop my baby hairs Yeah, I'm not gonna use the Gorilla Snot today just because my hair is acting right, so I don't really need it. But I'm just gonna take some more of that gel and really gel my hair down. So really get that on my hair. I'm gonna take my ponytail down. get some more of that gel and just put it around the other the perimeter of your hair so you really want to get in the back of your head so yeah I just put it all around my head then I take my brush and just really go in and smooth out and perfect everything so Make sure your ponytail is where you want it. Gonna braid your ponytail. Hmm. And a trick that my friend taught me whenever um, she first showed me how to do my ponytail is to pretty much take a piece of hair. Just like a thin little piece of hair from one of the bundles that you're using and I guess just like cut it off the bundle and kind of I guess split it or just find a way just braid it into your ponytail pretty much so I pretty much just kind of like bend it halfway and then just braid it on in 
And this really helps to make your ponytail super long. So if your bundles aren't super long, this is a, a good way to stretch it out and make your ponytail look really long. So this is pretty much how you determine the length that your ponytail is gonna be. So, just braid that in all the way to the end of your natural hair. And then take a ponytail holder and just tie it around it. So now you have this pretty much. And this is basically how long your ponytail is gonna be. For the hair for your ponytail, I just use, I don't use anything special, I just use bundles that I pretty much already use um, for this look I'm just gonna use wavy hair this hair looks a little messed up because I wear it all the time for this look but I'm gonna show you so this is the hair now just use two bundles you don't need a lot you can really probably get away with using just one bundle. But I take the hair. And this hair is from Jolie Bain Hair. Um, it's the wavy hair. But yeah, I take the hair. And I just fold it in half, so I pretty much double it up. And I take the end of the hair. And I connect it to that ponytail holder. And... To do this, I just use a bobby pin. If you don't have a bobby pin, you can just kind of tuck it into the ponytail holder. So you secure that in and then you wrap the hair around it. You, make sure, you want to make sure that you wrap the hair around this part kind of tight because you don't want it to come apart. And if you want to fit a lot of hair, you're going to wrap it really close. But if you want to stretch one bundle, then don't double the bundle and stretch it further and it'll still give you a really cute look it'll look more natural i like mine to look a little bit thicker so i use two and i double it up so you're just gonna tie it i mean wrap it Now once you get to the end of that bundle, you're just gonna wrap it around and then you're gonna pin it, you're gonna pin it in place. So just take a pin and pin it in place. And I'm just gonna take my next bundle. This one's a little bit wavier, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's kind of like a messy ponytail anyway. But you're just gonna do the same thing again and just connect this where the other one left off. So just take it and put it right there where the other one left off. And you're gonna put it in place. And again, wherever you connected it, you want to tie this around really tight because you don't want it to come loose. And just continue wrapping, wrapping it around your braid.
wrapping until you get to the top. And once you get to the top, oops. you're gonna grab a little piece of the hair from the end of the bundle and just wrap it around the base of your ponytail. And after you wrap it, you would usually pin it again right here. But I don't have another pin, so I'm just gonna wrap it really tight. If you don't have another pin, you can pretty much just wrap it really tight and like those last few hairs will kind of hold it in. So yeah. Just wrap it. Now that's in, just kind of finger comb it to your liking. Then because this hair like, is a little curly up here and a little straighter down here. So what I like to do um, is just spray the hair with water. So I just get water in a little spray bottle and I just spray my hair with it lightly. Really focusing on the ends, but just spray it all over. Now, I only do this sometime. If your hair is already good, like you just got it straight out the pack or whatever, brand new, you really don't have to do this unless you want to. I take my Hairfinity leave-in conditioner again, and I just spray a little bit of that on it too. And this makes it smell really good. And it just reactivates that curl in the hair that's a little bit more wavy. So, I just get that all through. And then I scrunch the ends. That's pretty much it. I let it air dry. And I either wear it to the side like this. I like it like this, it's really cute. Or I wear it just to the back, and you just move it to the back. And it's super cute. But yeah, it's super easy. Like this is the easiest hairstyle, but people always ask me how I do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, this is my favorite hairstyle. It's super simple, super easy. If you have any questions, just comment it down below. Everything will be linked down below or mentioned down below in the bio or the description bar. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you